Welcome back to Jimmerism Total Nerdy Channel. And <clears throat> uh, this is uh, Spaghetti Land. Sorry about this. I was trying to solve my logistical issues um, with my containers being too full. So I solved it with this neat little network of uh, <clears throat> transports that slowly leaks material into this um, beautiful grinding facility, which is quite quite fantastic. Anyways, uh, we can now see here, yes, it seems that it's finally floating on, probably. Yeah, well, we still have some small issues, but whatever. That's all fine. Today we're going to do a lot of advanced reach research and stuff. And, uh, well, I will get back this one here, so we can actually... Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> zoom around a little bit. I don't remember how many of these I need. Like, probably a good couple of them. Because we're gonna go do some... We're gonna go... We're gonna do some research. And let's see her. Because we have sent up so much material into the space elevator, uh, this facility does produce um, <clears throat> modular engines. I believe we actually can shut this facility down for the moment because we are going to do some high-end research indeed uh, and who knows exactly what we shall need for that I think this is the last level as well for like unlocking so uh, anyways let's get in here we have everything we need so we can seal beautiful we have sealed and we can now send it how beautiful space elevator go there we have it there we have it so um, unavailable in early access. That's amazing. Well, I mean, this was the last level. So let us uh, glide to uh, the rest of the place here. By the way, you can see my, my meat grinder has gone uh, full force lately. So you can just see here we'll, we have like 56 coupons. So let's just print our coupons here. Like 56 of them. That's kind of a lot for me. <laughs> So we can see what we can buy too. I mean, this is just a this is just a research fest kind of. Anyways, in this facility we can research because I heard there are like some geishers and stuff like that. We do wanna we do wanna research that. Um, ooh, geothermal generator. We need a lot of rubber and we need some Uber computers. Is there anything... Can we, like, research... What do we even need? A lot of Uber computers, apparently. It seems. And we need a good couple of engines. Or motors. Okay, motors, Uber computers. This one though, we can we can actually do this one. Radar technology. That's pretty cool. Aha. Research finished. New buildings. Neat. So what do we get for radar then? Nothing there. Radar tower reveals an area around itself on the map. The area grows over time to max. Placing the tower high up increases the max area revealed. Cool. Nice. That's pretty neat. We can actually build one of these like on top of our base up there. Anyways, um, let's see if do we have some extra ore? No, we don't. Never mind. 
All right, so let's see here. We are supposed to get a few of these. I don't remember exactly how many of them we needed because we did need motors, I suppose. And God, this is like a mess. I don't know, something like this maybe. Okay, and then we needed, what did we need? Rubber, right, we needed a lot of rubber. Uh, we're just gonna throw some random stuff into this uh, facility here. I don't need this much, many sheets. We need all that concrete. We actually, we actually filled the top of this uh, um, plateau. We filled it on a big concrete like slab and we are going to build our most advanced factory to date there uh, sooner or later. Now I totally forgot to use the... Uh oh yes, we need Uber computers, right. Now let's see here. Um, do we make Uber computers up top here or what do we make? I think you make oscillators, beautiful. And this is some weird shit. What do you make? Modular engines. Alright, I hope this place makes Eber computers then. No, this makes computers. And this one makes adaptive... What? Are you serious? So, okay, I think we unfortunately don't have a facility that makes Eber computers then. Probably not. That's a problem. Anyways, in that case, super computer. We need plastic. And this goes into this place. It has plastic. It takes computers. And this place, I guess, I guess we need to set this up to make uh, super computers. God, what a mess. Uh oh. Or how many did we need, though? Oh no. Um, not enough space for <laughs> automated wiring. Okay, so um, it has computers. We need AI limiters. Do we have any AI limiters going into this one? What's this? circuit board right oh we have a box of AI limiters here and it's actually kind of a lot of them so supposedly we could somehow <clears throat> as you may have uh, understood um, my strategy so far if you even can call it a strategy is making this uh, slowly worse as uh, time go by, goes by. So, um, at this rate, I think we'll just need to abandon this facility sooner or later, because this is just a complete mess. All right. Oh, and circuit boards. Yeah, well. Can I just put some random stuff in this research facility? We, we can just start, I mean, it takes a little time to research as well. All right. What can we even afford? Radio signal scanning. Whatever that does. Let's start researching that. Beautiful. Now we have some space in our inventory. Um, we can probably put the rubber in there too, so we can just uh, go up there. Oh, and... Uh, I will do some further tests later, but you can see we have this kind of runway and apparently you can kind of slide jump on that to really, really fly away pretty fast. And that's pretty cool actually. Anyways, we don't need any of that, no. So we can remove this connection there. And we can then... Yeah, we can actually just change it. We'll just go there and take... 
this can't be the best way of doing it, but it's not that long. Come on. We're just gonna take them all up like that. It's free, good, and then we can connect it up. To where we are. Oh, there we are. Beautiful. Right. We need more plastic, right? High speed connectors and plastic. Um, so. <laughs> I hope you don't get. Um, I, I hope you don't slowly die of just checking this out. But I'm going to try to connect this insane spaghetti eye up a little bit and we'll be back in a little a little bit here um, excuse to my OCD viewers uh, for my <clears throat> quote unquote solution but where the heck does it holy shit like this is just such a mess oh look we can probably yeah, we can hook that on instead there. That's real smart. <laughs> Anyways, at least we are cleaning up some spaghetti we currently don't need. So that's like one thing. Now we only have one ingredient left, which is high speed connectors. And wonder what we're, where we're going to get them from. Uh, hmm. Look, I found it. This facility we're producing some weird shit. Um, God damn it, I can't fit everything. <laughs> you can see this very beautiful loop here. It produced one of the parts for the space elevator. But obviously we don't need that anymore. I think. So we should probably just go and dump our space elevator parts into this thing. Like that, and hopefully it eats them up. Yeah, well that's probably nice. So now we must just need to uh, take this up and see what we need: quick wire cables and circuit boards. Holy cow! We have a serious circuit board problem, apparently. Right. Um, yes. There we go. Okay, so now all the rubber that needs to go goes into this place here. Now I wonder though, how full is this rubber container? No problem yet. We just need to check our overflow solution here. Ooh. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, the plastic is... Uh, we need a better flow of plastic. Hmm. We we'll probably need to just um, rebuild everything and get some proper train transport instead of my truck solution. But whatever. Now we have this and that's what we're going to work with. Anyways. Right. We're finally starting to solving our plastic flow a little bit. Because we do have plastic. It just doesn't reach our um, production. <clears throat> I am aware of we are doing horrible quick fixes, but we're <laughs> there is no defense. <clears throat> we're late in game. We're, we're late, uh, like in the game. So um, you know, now it feels like when I want to do a perfect like factory, I want to do a perfect factory, but as long as it's not perfect, I might as well use my my horrible. Um, quote unquote solution because why not and why are you you don't need any motors though it's like totally useless okay so here we have what, what is this even motor okay good okay this one is full though hope that doesn't cause any problems what are this now Grab all, oh, thank you. Right, so we can steal some of that, uh, uh, these ones, whatever these are called. Uh, AI, no, circuit boards. We can steal some of the circuits board 
so we can lead them sneakily into our little production there. Then we just need quick wire. A lot of quick wire and cables. So that, that's easily fixable. We don't even have anything that that leeches too many cables right now. So, I mean, that's nice. What is it even getting used for though? God damn, it's such spaghetti. Naturally, we can see there is a great opportunity to uh, just slap a splitter on there. And then we can run, what mark is this? Mark 2. Then we can run a mark 2 belt <coughs> over this belt here. And we can just input it, okay, in that slot, for example. Like, you can see, you can just, as you can see, like, this is the perfect solution. And then we'll just need a lot of quick wire. And we need so much quick wire, I actually think we uh, are probably reaching the quick wire limits here a little bit. Is this full full? No, it's not full full. So I don't think we'll need a Mark II belt here. I think it's still a good idea to... Or actually, maybe not. I think we're just gonna run a Mark IV belt because we're gonna need so much quick wire. Unfortunately, we can't lead it directly there. Okay, we need to take it on a little... Right, it seems we need to do some more arch. God damn it. Like this, for example. Beautiful. Mark IV belt, can we... No, no, we... Okay, there is clearance problem still. Alright. Okay, apparently... Maybe we can run it this... So I guess this episode is a very good example on why your factory isn't so horrible as you think. Because now we have seen, now we have seen my production solution. <laughs> but I'm going to defend myself and say it just works <laughs> or something. Look, two coupons already. Oh yes. Beautiful coupons. I wonder if you kind of get bonus if you kind of recycle the coupons. I don't think so. Right. Now we have copper sheets going into. Huh. We have a serious plastic deficit still. Uh, oh well, whatever. So. Now this bad boy, no you're on standby, is now completely able to produce high speed connectors. We can even boost it a little bit just because why not? Ah, oh, yes, now we can really eat that quick wire. Beautiful. Um, what? Oh no, that's a lag. I flew. Okay, then this one is leading up to the space elevator. And of course, we can now remove this little thing here. I don't think we even need our space elevator oh no, anymore. But of course, uh, we can deal with that problem later. Oh god, that's a bunch. That's a pile. Anyways. <clears throat> um, instead, we can... Lords. We should probably just remove this mess and just drag a new. There's like nothing to say, we're just, you know, leaving it as is. What is this? Oh, this is our oscillators, right. This thing we need to empty completely. So doing that the easiest way, of course, is... Oh look, we can actually drag this one sneakily underground like this. Beautiful. And then we can have it... Oh lords. Satisfactory gods, please forgive my sins. <laughs> Perfect! Mark one belt and it can just uh, slowly just empty that, that damn container so we can throw it away. It should give us some good... Um, yeah. I think, I think this, this will be great. 
Anyways. This one now makes high speed connectors, which we of course now can just simply take back to our factory. Take it up a little bit in the air so we can kind of see what we're doing here. No, I'm just kidding. Of course we can't see what we're doing here. I mean, seriously. This mess, see? Mm -mm. Anyways, I think this should, this should, I, I think this, this will just work. This will just work. Perfect. Isn't this completely beautiful? High speed connectors are coming in and we can finally start and produce super computers. That's beautiful. That's just simply beautiful. Right. Anyways, we should probably have a beautiful container that we can store our supercomputers in. Probably along those lines. Amazing. There we have it. God damn it, are those high speed connectors never coming in? Now we're coming in. Alright, alright. Do we have anything to boost this thing win? We don't really. There we go. 1.9 parts per minute. I think we're going to have to wait a little bit. You make computers. Oh, well, you make computers though. Have I boosted you? I have not. Okay, well, whatever. Analysis of radio signal scanning is complete. Research finished. And? Well, I guess we can scan now. Who knows? Didn't say anything. Radio control unit. Hmm. Well, anyways. Quartz. Radar technology. Radio signal scanning. Well, I suppose it was good for something. And then we have Catherium. We need a lot of supercomputers, so I think we probably need to chill out for a little bit because it will take a long time because before we can like research this thing or this thing. If we don't try to make these by hand, of course, which takes a lot of time. Mm -mm. Yeah, so, well, let us check out this. Ooh, bauxite refinement, nuclear power. That's something I'd want. All right, that's some cool things we can actually do research. Conveyor belt mark five. We can easily afford this one. Not this one. We need aluminium. Alumin. Now this aluminium. Aluminum. That's the American English. Aluminum. But I think aluminium sounds more correct. So, but I guess that's preference. Right. High speed connectors we need for that one. We don't really have that. So we're going to select this as a milestone and we are going to uh, get some more computers and get some more engines. Oh, and we can of course use high speed lane. Run, jump slide and fly. And there we have it. Got the materials. Just put in what we need and we can push the bottom. Beautiful. Bauxite. Quartz and bauxite scanning unlocked. Oh. A new generation of basic aluminum parts is now available, which can be constructed from bauxite after a complex process of refinement. Additionally, improved conveyor belts hmm. and lifts can now be constructed. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Conveyor. Oh, Mark 5. That's pretty cool. We'll need to go and to check um, um, aluminium construction manufacturing. K 
Okay, no now we actually feel a little bit more advanced. We finally got that the unlock, it took a lot of time, and there we are. And I even I haven't even built cranes yet. I haven't even built cranes. Oops. Anyways, how is it looking with uh... Oh so slow. So slow. I think we need to uh, we will not be able to do the geisha stuff unlock and stuff like that before like next time. But we can indeed check if we can do some expensive shopping. Right. What do we need actually? This is this one is just silly, but I, we just have so much. Okay. Pioneer. Satisfactory adequate pioneer. Pretty good pioneering. <laughs> okay, we, we can waste our money on parts too. But that doesn't, you know, I guess it doesn't feel very fun. Like, we could probably buy supercomputers. Eight checks for... Nah, it doesn't really feel worth it. Nah. Nah, I don't think we'll do that. We can buy ammunition. I'm actually going to buy one pack of medicinal inhalers so we don't have to deal with that. And I want to buy a pretty good pioneering. <laughs> We're gonna throw all our coupons on pretty good pioneering. I think that sounds like a good idea. Cart. Meh. Yes. Buy all. Beautiful. So, how nice is that not? What's, uh... Like, what is this even? Oh. Look, we can actually, uh, we can use it. Where is it now? Pretty good pioneering. <laughs> I think we're gonna have it right there. Here is pretty good pioneering. Thanks a lot. How beautiful is that? Before we end this video, we're going to, I'm going to show you my massive concrete platform. It's insane. This takes forever though. We just have to solve this. Holy crap, my tube is upwards motion. We need to build an accelerator or something. Lords. I'll never know what's in that box. It's lost. Oh look, there is still a capoon. Mm. Whatever. Oh, now you can almost see. You can see my foundation a little bit there. There you have it. It's pretty big. So, we did do some research before, and um, Blade Runners is the fastest way to run around. But we're not gonna run around as fast as we can. I'm just going to show you the enormous platform of concrete I put here, which we're going to do some have, have some pretty nice factory on. I want to put my... Uh, Plastics production here because right now I have residue over from the facility that does produce um, um, fuel uh, <clears throat> Generators basically they produce the residue and I'm gonna lead it up here and we're gonna make plastic and some advanced part Maybe we'll have like supercomputer area. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see but I have plans for this big platform, and um, I hope it will be glorious. Yes. Anyways, um, I think that that will be it. The way down does go a lot faster. Oh, finally. It even almost lags a little bit, because it's just a little bit faster. <laughs> ah, the beautiful meat liquidizer. Mm. Well, there we have it. Pretty solid spaghetti and uh, pretty solid high tier level spaghetti stuff. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this little video. This has been your host, Jim Odesim, and we are signing out. 
leave a like on the video and do subscribe for future ones. Have a great one and good night. Bye.